Hey guys, welcome in. If you're new or just passing through my channel, welcome. My name is Cam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you're returning, welcome back squad. I'm here today to do another general collective reading. We're not science specific here. We're also gender fluid. I may be saying you and I'm talking to them. I may say them and I'm talking to you. Put yourself in this story wherever you seem to fit. Please understand that time and energy are fluid. So I could be talking about the past. I could be speaking about the present. I could most certainly be talking about the future. Put yourself in the story wherever you seem to fit. Please only take what resonates and throw the rest out. All right. Let's just jump right in. Damn. I'm going to take them. Tower in the reverse. The world in the reverse. Hey, man in the reverse. Knight of Swords in the upright, Page of Wands in the reverse. I definitely have some stuck energy. And it's largely due to the fact that someone here has not quite moved on from the past. I feel like somebody here is trying to avoid the inevitable, which is change. Change always happens, regardless of whatever you think you got going on in your life. Change is constant, right? Whatever this is, this is right here, somebody was hoping that it wouldn't come to this. But I'm also feeling like the reason why this tower is here is because somebody hasn't learned their lessons. I'm also getting here that someone may be self-deluding like I heard gaslighting themselves and I've been talking about that too like don't gaslight your own intuition if you feel something or you see something don't go mm, maybe not I don't think that's what it is mm, no it is what it is oh wait a minute oh damn I left the bottle of water on the kitchen counter um I also feel as though, too, I think whatever this inevitable change is, I think you're also seeing here where um, you're seeing things for what it really is, collective. Um, and the truth is, whatever you're dealing with, it is connected to your past and you got somebody who's still in that energy. Meanwhile, you're over here, you, you're healing. You're healing but you're also not fooling with this person or these people you've been dealing with somebody here and now they oh child you let it go and you're like i'm done so you've been dealing with somebody here who's been emotionally manipulative towards you and you are seeing it very clearly this person may also be seeing how their withholding of of emotions from you has translated into what this situation is now somebody's seeing that real clear somebody is looking at like if in the past they were withholding their energy and withholding emotions from you um, as a means to control you. They are now witnessing the ramification of those actions. And now they're on the outside looking in, but they're also having a pity party. Poor, poor me. Because they've been released. You released the burden. Like you took all you could take. And at this stage, you're like, I'm not fooling with it no more. There have been some injustices carried out and I do have someone here that must, excuse me, that may want to come in and apologize. But, <laughs> you know, I'm always paying attention to the cards in the very center. Mm -mm. This person wants to come towards you and offer an apology. But it's still riddled with a lie. It's still riddled with a lie. 
And I think you've been burned enough times that you have good reason to have strong boundaries. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You're very confident. You are very confident in the action of deciding to drop the burdens, especially those that don't belong to you. And if someone here is having a pity party, it's not your problem. It's not your problem. I also have energy here too of someone who may have been like telling, because I'm getting, there's a bunch of confusion here, but I'm also getting, because it's something that stems from the past, like past past actions or a, a, a time period in the past and maybe a time period in the past you were the one who were on the outside you were the one that was on the outside at one point now this person is seeing they are on the outside. It's because they tried to manipulate you and other people with a bunch of lies. Ace of Swords in the reverse with the moon. And you just decided, you know what? I know the truth. I don't need to stick around for this. If you're in a committed couple, then these lies were not just about you, it was about you as a couple. As well. I have somebody watching. And they're confused about it's kind of weird. There's two energies here. It's kind of like I do have someone here who's clearly on the outside looking in. They're trying to determine. They're confused about whatever it is that you're doing. Especially if you've got a new cycle here that's starting. But you're not doing it overtly and out in the open. So everything is kind of a mystery for them. Now they're in they're at the seat of regret because they're looking back at the past of whatever they've done. I don't see apology. I mean, I do see an apology, but it does again the apology is attached to something that's insincere and a lie. I just don't have no use for no liars. Yeah, this person all they do is create a bunch of confusion. And so this person may be getting negative attention for engaging in third party energy or just for simply not being emotionally supportive to you because I can see that too. And you decide to move on. And move on, it's kind of like you may have also not so much like ghosting maybe it could feel like ghosting for some folks but i kind of feel like you when you release the burden you did it in such a way that was really it was quiet it was quiet you didn't make an announcement you just kind of pulled back blocked people dipped you just you pulled back and decided to move on from it and they're watching you move on folks are watching you move away from them some folks don't think it's fair but oh well Yep, you are choosing something brand new and you've been waiting for this. And whoever you've been dealing with, now they're, they're, they're stressed and they're stuck. They're stuck in the energy that they wanted you to be in. I also feel like this person may not have the same kind of options that you have available to you. And there may be also a choice for you collective, a choice between what it is that you want 
and being connected to or stuck to this person from your past. You're seeing the truth of the matter. Or there's something being illuminated as it relates to the past. Eight of Cups, walking away from that which is no longer emotionally fulfilling, especially if it was somebody, somebody here who doesn't want to change. You have somebody here who may have taken some hasty moves. They've taken some hasty moves. You may also have somebody here who may have to move. There's a reversal of fortune. And this person is beside themselves because you don't want to work with them. You don't want to deal with them. And you may still have a whole lot of love in your heart for them, but you're not dealing with it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You know exactly where to invest your time and energy, and it's not with these people. Because I think you recognize that this person is really only in it for the finances or the stability that they think they can get from you. There's somebody's getting negative karma. And I'm, I'm what I'm hearing is like, no, I don't want no parts of that. Because literally, when you jump in to help people, like solve their problems, somebody's going through some issues, and you offer to help them because you know you feel bad. You're like, oh damn, you, I feel bad for you. You know, let me help you out. But if while they're going through these trials and tribulations, if that's part of their karma, when you step in to help them, you do know that that karma comes swinging around for you too. It is not your responsibility to pick up the pieces for somebody else. Let them pick up their own damn pieces. Okay? Especially my collective. We've been over here working and scraping to get by, to get ourselves together, to gather ourselves. Right? To get our lives back in order. To find stability. To create those things for ourselves. Why on earth would we want to entertain or be bothered with people who don't want to put in the same kind of effort or energy that we put into ourselves? They don't even want to put that energy into themselves. They're more hyper-focused on what the hell we're doing. Where you put your concentration, that's where the energy flows. So thank you all for spending so much time focused on my collective and what we're doing because all you're doing is giving us more power and energy to continue to go and do. Meanwhile, you're over here losing everything because you ain't paid no attention to your own life. You too busy worried about mine. Okay. I don't feel bad for anybody's life who's falling apart. You get what you put into it and if you ain't putting nothing into it get what you get it's like my kids used to say you get what you get and you don't have a fit literally you get what you get and you don't have a fit you ain't put no work into what you, into changing what you expect people are gonna walk away from you Definitely have somebody here wanting to come towards you real fast, trying to propose. <sighs> trying to propose that you work together or let's work, let's, let's do this. Let's, I'm going to, I, I, I want to come towards you. I want to travel to you. Let's talk about this new beginning, but you don't want to do this anymore. Because the person that you're dealing with has not done the work to heal. They do not. This person could be sick. You could be dealing with somebody who's dealing with some illness. Yeah, you're no longer committed to this person. You have no commitment or loyalty to them. You're just continuing to focus on your family, focus on yourself, building your, you know, building of your own foundation. And this person, that's not what this person wanted. They wanted you to be homeless. And conflict in conflict with your partner. These people are weird. The 
the energy of the readings today has been very weird. I think I recorded like three videos and all the readings are very, very weird. I'm getting the strangest energy. And all I can do is just transmute it. I kinda, it kind of makes me want to vomit. Like it's, it's an intense kind of energy. I feel really weird. Somebody might be losing a home that they gained in marriage or they got married in order to avoid poverty. But now this person is sick and they may be losing a house because of something that they've done illegally and now they're in despair. Okay. Somebody is somebody. Okay. <laughs> somebody has received a message of concern that they may be losing a gift. The gift may be that house that they obtained through marriage. They are in despair because this home, this one piece, this one asset is what gave them. That's what gives them, you know, that's their asset. That's like literally the only asset they got left is a house, right? They obtained this house. They avoided poverty by being in this relationship that got them this house, which has been a gift. But that gift and the house is both in the reverse. So they may be losing. That's what this message of concern is. They may be losing that. And this person's in bad health and also in despair. Because whatever this is, something's been done illegally. Yeah, unexpected income in the reverse. They about to lose all their chips. They were once a privileged lady. And now their pathway forward has been blocked. There could be some negative public attention behind this. Negative press. False person. So this privileged lady is a false person. Yeah, they had great fortune at one point. Now they've been blocked and the unexpected income that they were, the income that they may have been getting, they're not getting that no more. But unexpected income for me is more about unexpected losses in the reverse. So they take an L. Somebody's taking L's. They're losing the gift. They're concerned about it. They're in despair because they're about to be in poverty. And this person may not want anybody to know about it. There is an official person here. And a main female in the reverse, which is distorted feminine, and a child in the reverse. So this main female in the reverse, maybe this great fortune was supposed to go to this child. The child doesn't have to be a minor. It just could be somebody's child. I mean, we're all somebody's child, right? <laughs> Um, this also could even potentially be talking about like a brand new idea or a brand new, you know, something new that you would birth and, and grow to prosper. For me, this feels like there was somebody blocking that. Somebody could be investigated. Somebody might be being investigated. And there may be some negative attention around that. Because their pathway has been blocked. This false person is this privileged woman who did something illegal. Courtship. Coffin in the reverse. So somebody may have wanted your relationship to come to an end, but it's not. So maybe you had people in your family that may have been wishing on a downfall of your relationship could be a mature woman involved they had an expectation that your relationship would end and they got other people involved in your family but that's not what's happening you moved on Somebody may have to work. 
somebody remember i said over here this official person there's somebody over here thinking about this thief adjudication in the reverse somebody may be going to jail i keep seeing all the money cards are like in the reverse so there's somebody here that's losing they're losing money they're losing assets they're losing money and assets pathway being blocked okay i'm gonna take all of these Somebody may be wanting to come towards you because their, their door to spirit has been blocked. And because maybe you are in a stable place, you're not dealing with financial constraints. They want to come back because they, they don't have the same um, options that you have. They don't have certain things available to them. But the thing is, is that this relationship has already come to a close. The caring connections is in the reverse, right? Somebody's kind of hoping that you don't see that they haven't changed, that they haven't evolved, and they want to use you as the means to kind of help them get where they're going. They're coming to you because they don't have any other options. Or they feel as though they don't have any other options. Won't be successful though. And they'll be broken hearted. Mm -hmm. And they're envious while you over here in your blossomy abundance. The month of May may be of significance. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini. dragon beware of self-delusion i said that in the very beginning like somebody here has been deluded delusional deluding themselves dogs getting together with friends rainbow the most difficult part of a situation is over fox shrewdness and resourcefulness especially in business and lion time to act okay Somebody has commitment issues. There's sexual desires. There's more information needed. Somebody has no other interests. Somebody is returning to you. There's avoidance. The synchronicities on this board are loud. Alcohol or drugs are involved. Communication is coming over the summer. Somebody may be moving into a new home. Okay, so we have 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 3, 3, 3, 13, 14, 15. I have April 13th, April the 3rd, March 4th, March 13th, March 3rd, July 3rd, July 13th, July 15th. March 15th, March 14th, I was just told to say 315, if a synchronicity of 315, um, if that's something that you've been seeing, could you comment below, because sometimes I get these really random, random syncs that have nothing to do with anything, but 315 just jumped out really, really loud. And I was told, say that. So the 315 means anything to you. This message is for you. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to leave it there. I don't want this video to get too long. If you'd like to book a personal more line with your own story, all my information can be found below in the description box. And my books are always open. I appreciate y'all so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. If this reading resonated for you in any parts, Please give the video a thumbs up so we can circulate it to those who need the message the most. All right. I love you guys. And until next time, take care. Bye.